My One of my other favorite things that you do in this book, which I think is really funny and brave, is that you kind of, you get really honest about male comedy writers and the way that sort of a writer's room can be incredibly horrifying for a woman. Um, how did you sort of arrive at that fearlessness where you're like, fuck it, I'm just going to like be totally honest about being bullied as a, like a female comedy writer? Status? Yeah. That I can do that now. Um, I also don't name names. I don't say what job it was. Uh, I don't, I don't want to like get anyone canceled. And also I, the bosses on that job were, were, were quite nice. Um, and there were other people on that staff who were quite nice. And I think that there's also a line of it, did I feel bullied because I was the only girl? So I was the only girl. Did I feel bullied because I was the youngest or did I feel bullied because I'm just like a vulnerable, sensitive person? Would I have felt the same way if I were a guy? And I don't know. So it's more of the culture of, of comedy and what comedy used to be, which is going out of fashion, which is just like best joke wins. Um, and like, it doesn't matter if you're mean as long as you're like funny. And in fact, if you're funnier than everyone else, you should use that as a way to kind of like take the shit, you know, call everyone else out, take the shit, call everyone else out on their shit. Um, yeah, it was a status thing that I just... I'm not afraid of like not getting hired because of that. And again, I, I, I don't throw anyone specific under the bus and I think it needs to be talked about because uh, it was a, it was a emotionally difficult part of my life. It was a very mixed blessing because I was so happy to be writing comedy professionally. I was so lucky I knew how lucky I was and I was ashamed that I would have any complaints. And I, I actually remember complaining to a friend about this job and they were like, you're so lucky. And so I had a shame about not fully enjoying the experience. And, and I was incredibly green. I got hired for this job based off of a spec of 30 rock that I wrote. So not even original pilot, uh, um, you know, a spec of another TV show. I was 23 years old. Uh, and, but I think it's important to talk about because we, there were some parts of it where I was like, am I being bullied? Is that, I, I can't tell. Cause no one was actively like, you suck, <laughs> fuck you. You know, no, it was not, it wasn't that targeted. It's all just this kind of general aggression and a general like assertion of status. And so it's hard to define and you think you're maybe making it up. Right, right. Think, well, maybe it's just me and I'm just too sensitive. And I've talked to other people who've had work situations like this where it's, it, 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 gaslighting is not the word because I don't think it's like on a conscious level on their part. They're not trying to, be dicks and then trick you into thinking they're not dicks. You're questioning, am I, is my reaction, is my emotional reaction uh, in line with the way they're actually acting? Hmm. And you question yourself and you're like, am I being demeaned or am I just too sensitive and I need to get over myself? And I think that's an experience a lot of people have in any workplace setting.